Jim, why are you here today? Um, my six-year-old son is in treatment for leukemia. Okay, and, can you uh, tell me about when your son got leukemia? My son was diagnosed officially on March 8th, 2012. He uh, started showing symptoms in late January of 2012. His leukemia showed itself uh, about 18 months after the oil spill. All right. Um, can you tell me what you've been going through? Uh, well, leukemia treatment with a little kid is not easy. Um, lots of large hospital bills. Thankfully, we have coverage for that. Um, just not having the life of a normal five and six year old. He didn't start kindergarten till after Halloween because of immunity issues. He can't go anywhere where there's indoor things like here, Playlands, Chuck E. Cheese, that kind of thing. We've been hospitalized, I think, six or seven times since diagnosis. Um, now, you've heard about other people having leukemia since I this. know, yes. And it can take years for it to kick in. Um, my little guy was in the middle of a huge growth spurt when we were when dealing with the oil spill here. So we do know that it's, you know, benzene's a huge factor in leukemia, so during the oil spill and then immediately after my son was growing quite rapidly um, at oh what is it two years old they're supposed to project your height out and he was projected at being like six foot nine um, since leukemia treatment started he's grown three centimeters wow in 14 months um, before that he was growing multiple inches a year do you believe it's possible that the benzene he breathed in that was thousands of times the legal limit here in Marshall, Michigan, do you believe it's possible that that could contribute to his leukemia? Uh, yeah, it's proven there's a link between benzene exposure and leukemia. I'm just worried that we're kind of at the front edge of dozens of these kids in our county going through this, and it really is not fun. Um, Why do you think dozens of kids might get this in the near future? because of the exposure levels and the smell. No, and yeah, that's another thing. We have not pursued anything legal just because we don't want to subject our six-year-old to all that that entails. So you're not here because you're not suing for money. You're not trying no. to get it. As a dad, I want to know why my child got this. I have no idea. And uh, I want to make sure that other people that are seeing kids showing chronic illnesses at least are aware that blood cancers are a very, very likely um, side effect of this. My house is worth a third of what we owe. I mean, the whole town's real estate values have just fallen right through the floor. I think they've been very dishonest. I mean, I remember reading the initial reports. I believe the initial reports had it Monday morning was the was first time they admitted to. Right, and we have residents that say they smelled it. On it. Saturday. We also have residents at Moonraker that said they smelled it on Friday night, which is the closest business to the oil spill yeah, downwind. I, yeah, I, I, I explicitly remember Saturday just because we were talking earlier. I remember. So, so you I smelled it on Saturday, two entire days before Embridge is even saying it happened. Yes, and they've already cleaned up more oil than they said they dumped. Yes, so obviously um, we believe they spilled a lot more than they're saying. And yeah, I just, I don't like the idea of, there's absolutely no public uh, input in how these, these lines are maintained or where they go. As people, you know, you move into a town, we, we've only been in Marshall six years and we didn't even know there was a pipeline here.